Hi guys, it's Mel from Cooking with Cousin Mel. Um, what I'm going to make for you today is another crock pot recipe. And this one here is a good one for um, Thanksgiving because we do have our American Thanksgiving coming up in November. Plus we have our Canadian Thanksgiving coming up on October 9th. This one probably will not be seen for October 9th. Um, it'll probably be in November for um, the American Thanksgiving. So to all my American friends that watch, thank you. I appreciate all of you. And I really hope you like this video. Um, what I'm, like I said, what I'm making is my um, sausage stuffing. So what I'm going to do is I got to get a pan from my stove, which I forgot to grab. And I'm going to put a half a cup of salted butter. I am going to put the recipe for you in the description. So it is there. Um, I'm going to get that uh, on. But I'm going to cut up my celery and my onion because I got to add that to my butter before we do anything else. So just let me get my pot and everything going. And then I'll come right back. So I just got my celery here and it's got to be finely chopped. So I'm just, uh, you know, it's, it's one and a half cups. One and a half cups of celery. So because my celery, some of it's big, some of it's small. I, I'm going to use probably about five stalks. Depending on if your stalks are um, smaller, you might have to use more. I'm just going to I'm going to use five because I think five would be about a cup and a half. If it's a little more, hey, okay, who's complaining? So I'm going to get these cut up, and as you can see, I'm just doing them fine. I'm not, uh, but I'm not going too small. I don't want them to like to, to dissolve. So as you can see, there's what I'm cutting them up as. Okay, so I'll get these finished, and then I will come right back because I got to cut my onion up. All right. So I only did four stalks and I probably got about two cups of celery but that's fine <clears throat> I like celery so so I'm just gonna put you down don't mind the mess of my kitchen I'm uh I'm here sanding the cupboard and trying to get them everything painted and trying to get stuff done for Christmas so next time hopefully that you guys see it it'll be all it'll be different so I'm trying to get that that done as well. So it's just busy, 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 busy. Okay, so I'm going to cut my onion. My onion's going to be cut fine. Well, as fine as I can get it, I guess. So I'm going to get my, it's a medium size onion that I'm cutting up. I got that cut. Okay. So I got my medium onion cut. I got my celery cut. So we're off to a good start. Maybe I shouldn't speak too soon. Oh no, I got another onion there. Um, this is only a small, so I'm going to cut that too. I want to make sure I have everything kind of proportioned. 
the onions at the store this time weren't that weren't that big, so I end up they're smaller. So. Oh, they're potent, I know that. Very, very, very strong. Okay, so there's my, I guess it'd be a little, a bigger medium. How about that? The bigger medium. Oh, making me cry. All right. So I got that done. Sorry, guys. Oh, they're potent. Potent onion. Oh. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna get my butter melted. I'll I'll even take you over, and I'll show you what's going on. Because once I get the butter melted, I'm gonna add uh, salt and pepper and my um, celery and onion. So I'm gonna get get that prepared, and I'll bring you over. Okay, so I got my butter melted on medium low. So now I'm going to add my celery and my onion. And we're just going to uh, not using them, they're too big. Take that out. So we're just going to do these up until they uh, they begin to soften. And I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. And this is to every, just to your liking, to your taste. So it'll be about a quarter to a half a teaspoon for both. So stir that around till they become a little, like I said, they start to begin to get soft. Okay. So I'll get these done and I'll be right back. Okay, so my onions and my celery are beginning to turn soft or starting to uh, soften. So I was going to go out and buy sausage, ground sausage, but I knew I already had sausage um, in my freezer. So I just took it out of the, the membrane that it's in. So we're just going to add it and chop it all up. And then we're going to just keep stirring this. I'm going to add some spices to it. I just got to get them, but I just want to get this kind of ground up a little bit. So I'm just going to get this mushed up. I'll get my spices and then I'll come back and show you guys. As it cooks, it'll break up better because it's not the uh, stuff that's already ground up. So. Okay, so I'm gonna just let that kind of cook. I'll get my spices and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's, it's breaking up a little bit. If you were doing this, <clears throat> what you could do is do it the night before the sausage and have it already cooked. But I mean, that's up to yourself. Like I said, it, it's going in the slow cooker or in the crock pot for at least four hours, four to five hours. 
So my spices are, I didn't have um, dried sage, so I had to use ground. So I got a teaspoon of ground, teaspoon of poultry seasoning, and uh, it's uh, marjoram. I didn't have any, so the closest thing to it is oregano. So I got a half a teaspoon of that. So I'm gonna add these in. Mix it around. I think it's called marjoram, marjoram. Um, it was very, I couldn't find it. I searched everywhere for it. So it might be only something that they get in seasonal around here. I, I'm not sure. Um, it is a very good uh, herb for um, different um, illnesses. It's a healing, they say it's a healing herb and it's good for cooking. But like I said, I couldn't. I should have tried the nutrition stores, they might have it. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that go a little bit longer just to, to um, make sure it's not, I wanna make sure my sausage is cooked. So I'm going to let that go a little bit longer and I'll be right back. So while my sausage is still going, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take two eggs. And four cups of chicken broth. Moving things around here. Okay, so there's two. There's four cups of chicken broth. I love making crock pot recipes. Okay, so we're going to whisk that up. Okay. As you can see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm just going to move this over here. Oh, a little, little mess going. That's okay. So I'm just going to put that there for a second because I'm going to grab my Just gonna check my sausage. Sausage is good. Oh, I'm gonna take it off my heat. Bring it over here. Oh, it smells delicious. I was hungry, I'd eat it right now. All right, and then I'm gonna stir in my Mixture. Okay. So we got that all stirred around. So what I'm going to do now, hope you can see here a little bit. With my 
Now I bought a bag. If you want to make the stuffing on your own, um, just make sure that you put it in your crock pot for about six hours and uh, let it kind of dry out a little bit. So if you can find two 12 ounce bags, that's fine. Um, if you can't, I found this one here. It's, uh, I gotta go with all of it because they got it such in big pieces. So I'm just gonna use it all. So you're gonna use two 12 ounce bags, probably a little bit more than three cups, but like I said, look at the size of the bread. It's not really cubed. I would have to sit and start trying to break it all apart. So now I'm going to take my stuffing or my mixture, sorry, and I'm going to put that all on the top. And like I said, once the bread starts getting a little smaller, it will go quite small. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now I'm just going to gently, gently stir this just to get it moving around a little bit. Like I said, you can feel the, the bread, it's getting soft. But I just wanna make sure everything is coated in the, the mixture. So just, just be gentle. And I do have my, like I said, I do have my setting on low. See how it went down? Okay, so I have my setting on low. I'm going to take the top, put it on, and I'm going to have it on for about, like I said, probably about three to four hours on low. And that's the sausage stuffing. So I will be back in a couple of hours and let you see what it looks like. Hey guys, there's what it looks like. It's all done. It's been about three hours, three, about three hours and 20 minutes, three and a half hours. So I'm just going to give it a stir around, see what it, smells so good. I guess I should have uh, stuck oil around it so it wouldn't, but it's okay. So I'm just going to stir it around, trying to, there's a couple of parts that were kind of stuck. And I'll take a little bite. Celery, it's a sausage. Hot. Hot. Mm, that tastes too good. Mm. That is really good. Mm. 
That is tasty. Um, again, I will put the recipe in for you. Um, ooh, that was a little salty, that part there. Um, and before you, I should have said this too, before you put it into your um, crock pot, if you want to try, because you added your salt and pepper and all that stuff in your seasoning mix, after you get all, everything cooked, give it a little taste. And uh, just to see if you might need to add more pepper, add more salt. Um, the other seasonings are perfect. Um, I might end up adding a little bit more pepper because I, I find it so I don't use salt. Um, so I'll, I'll use uh, a little bit more and I'll try it. And uh, I hope you get to give it a try. And you do, get back to me. Yeah. Thanks, guys. What are you saying? Like I said, if you do get to give it a try, please let me know how it turned out for you. Um, and uh, I will see you guys on the next one. I don't know if this one's going to be posted for October, but it will be in for November because it'd be better for the uh, um, Thanksgiving. All right, guys. See you later.